you've probably watched Squid Game or listened to the boy band BTS or even used Korean skincare. And if you haven't, you probably know someone who has. I know I have. It's called the Korean Wave, and reporter Harley Hunsaker dives deep into what it is and its impact on America. Harley? In recent years, there's been an increase in Korean culture popularity across the globe. Whether it's K-pop or K-drama, people love it. But you don't just have to be in Korea to access this culture. In fact, you can access it right through these stores. These BYU students are dancing, clapping, and even DJing. All to the sounds of Korean pop music at a K-pop party thrown by the BYU Korean Student Association. And club leader Vivian Lee explains why. Because in Utah, we are a minority, and it's not really common to bring minorities together. Lee organized a K-pop Halloween-themed dance party to share her culture with others. But the sharing of Korean culture is becoming increasingly easy due to the Korean wave. It's a machine. It's a huge machine. Dr. Richard McBride is chair of Asian and Near Eastern languages at BYU. He teaches a variety of classes, including Korean culture. He explains the three Korean waves. With Korean food and Korean music and Korean film and Korean dramas. And kind of the first stage was, was those things. McBride says how in the late 1990s, Korean banks failed due to bad loans and they needed to rebrand themselves. First, the rise of Samsung. And since then, the rise of Korean film, television, video games, and especially music. Earlier this year, the Asian Scotland Institute reports BTS has gained the South Korean economy $4.9 billion. It seems like all fun and games, but McBride asks an interesting question. We live in a global world, but when you globalize too much, what do you sacrifice in the process? What do you sacrifice in the process, and should we be worried? Lee doesn't think so. It makes me very proud of my country. <laughs> so for now, sit back and watch the Korean wave crash down into your life. Reporting for Universe Live at Brigham Young University, I'm Harley Hunsaker.